Good morning. Um, I mean, me being a rather awkward amateur at this, it is um, somewhat of a novelty that I receive comments on these these videos I, I produce. Basically, I'm just producing them to hear myself talk to myself and um, see if uh, I'm making sense to myself, if that makes sense. Now, if it makes sense to others or if it provokes thoughts, I hope it doesn't provoke uh, any kind of uh, anxiety or angst or anything. I, again, I'm, I'm not a professional presenter um, but um, comments, likes, <laughs> they, uh, as I've seen with other uh, formats, you know, a like will alter the algorithm where it can, message can get out more. Now, that's been said. So, there was a comment. First of all, it being a comment, which is rare, but what was requested okay here we go is it kind to do evil and what types of evil are in the world now so I'm going to sidestep presenting any personal opinions and fall back on a known reality and that is the third dimension is dualistic there is a duality that's how we function good bad right wrong hot cold uh, it's it's um, and it's all a matter of perspective so just like yesterday um, here in the uh, a northern state the uh, weather was the, the air temperature was almost cold but the sun was shining so you know I went for a walk in, the na in nature and, and, and enjoyed it but relatively someone in Florida would have been very uncomfortable doing that see the dualist the dualism it's so uh, what you expect what you experience is based on personal perspective now where am I going with this with the duality that we have it would seem that there are levels okay um, for example back when I used to be a solid bicycle commuter that's before I put on a few years was um, there were times that I rode to my place of employment on a bicycle 10 miles in the morning temperature 4 below zero I was I dressed for it and it didn't really seem to be that much of a bad thing I wouldn't dream of doing it now so my perspective has altered in the last 12 years so with duality it's difficult enough to keep track of evil versus non-evil is evil entering the good is the good overcoming evil will light overcome dark then it occurs to me that well without dark you have no perception of light and without light you have no perception of dark yeah, meditate on that for a while the the evil okay what what is evil okay if uh, if someone is fishing to feed someone then that would be considered a good thing right enlightened Unless you're the fish getting the flesh cut off its bones or the worm getting the hook put through its face. A good deed 
but arguably there could be evil perceived to accomplish that. Now that's vague. Okay, let's go with uh, the obvious uh, of our uh, present times. That the word evil is being thrown around like it's a Pez dispenser on full auto. I just pow, 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 pow. That's evil. That's evil. That's evil. He's evil. She's evil. Oh my goodness. And so that that's that that's the disillusionment that uh, for one that I've totally sworn off of that kind of uh, media. However. There are some truly horrific events that have happened that on a degree of evil. Okay. And if you go down the rabbit holes and dwell into them, it can really bring out the dualism in people, which I do not intend to do. So is this the cowardly way of not answering the question? Yeah. It is. Um, because we are here to figure it out how it affects us. Okay? So with the dualism, um, okay, the events in Israel. That is horrific. The uh, terrorist attack is horrific. As is the response. Where does evil come into play? Is evil doing used to perpetuate? See how that it just goes down the rabbit hole, and it's just. Is there an answer there? Don't know. So we just keep going through and experiencing this, but we do it on an individual, and as we individually sort through this individually now I'm not saying get a focus group and because the only way a focus groups not going to end in a riot is if it's all like minded opinions okay so be your own focus group sit down in front of a, a camera and record what you think about this and play it back to yourself and see if what you said makes sense. Um, wow. The, the types of evil in the world. What type, How can you type evil? How can you type good? This is... Um, let, let's take the dualism out to... Uh, Infinity, which evidently it goes to in, in the third vibration, in the third density, in the third realm. Which, if you're watching this, I would say likely you're trying to get up out of. And one point is that focusing and allowing it to trigger emotions of um, of the dualism and taking a side and assigning the paradigm of evil and or good to it you're accepting the third vibrational frequency and perpetuating it and anchoring it you are anchoring in the third when you do that so Think beyond that. Strive beyond the dualistic. It's what I tell myself. It's how I practice. Not always successful. I get triggered. There are some things that trigger me about the uh, evil of 9-11. That was a truly, that was a terrible event. Now, you want to go down a rabbit hole? Why did Building 7 fall? 
Just saying. Don't go down that. That will anchor you in third. Just, wow. Acknowledge it for what it is as a terrible event. And move. Move. Shift. Shift away from it. Shift toward anything that you feel compelled to do because this is this is your path just like my path is my path and I will jealously guard and stay on it and again like I've kind of referred to before you know it if it's if it's like a river flowing times like these are like coming upon rapids right okay and rapids are caused by what large rocks right and if you can shift and steer around them as you're going faster and faster now it's, it's hard to make snap decisions but every once in a while you're going to hit one you're going to get flipped flipped out of your raft or whatever you're riding in now what do you do do you cling to what flipped you out keep going keep going with it keep going with it or do you let go cross your arms raise your feet and let the current take you on when you get to calmer waters climb back in your raft to continue on your journey that's how I prefer to do it now there have been times I've clung to that rock and took one hell of a beat now that's enough of that the types of evil in the world how can you type evil typing is a comparative thing um, as we go through okay here here Gaia is ascending no doubt about it. the vibration is picking up the magnet everything to do with energy about the planet that we are involved with now we meaning our light our spark riding around in this body which is from who from the earth from Gaia we are the, our bodies are feeling the shifts that are taking place now what happens when something like a planet gets shook up is layers of stuff that has been buried okay and in our physical emotional bodies it happens also it gets shook up and when you shake something it comes to the surface guy is vibrating at a higher vibration and it's just it's shaking and stuff is coming to the surface that we thought we had buried so deep <laughs> but so we're being ex experiencing some lack of a better term some primitive evil we've got to deal with it deal with it how wow acknowledge it and move on the also experiencing some light it's not just the evil coming to the surface people are waking up seeing this for what it is and that's the great awakening that's what's happening these physical emotional bodies as my little spark sitting in this physical emotional body sees it is that wow this is going to be a ride here is stasis is near chaos anymore that is stasis it doesn't matter if it's with your um your house plants or your macroeconomics or your political systems or your governance it's all influenced by emotional physical beings that are having the living daylight shook out of them right now okay so your banker is going may not acknowledge it but they're going through the same experiences that you are that I am that we are as sparks in their physical emotional body 
observe but don't assimilate into it okay observe it do not acquire it you got enough going on in your physical emotional body than to be grabbing onto every rock that may flip you out of the, your raft let go flow past it get back in your raft and go on um, so the types of evil I, have we seen the end of this not till we get out of the third vibration no and um, Gaia is she's a lot bigger than our emotional physical bodies okay so she is she's coming out of it track the magnetic pole reversals moving and uh, other things so it's um, yeah the sun it influences things the moon influences some people are their emotional can't take it they just don't seem to be able to take it some can um, so anyway that's a um, roundabout way of trying to explain something I understand very little I don't understand evil um, I have an inkling of why it exists and it's um, it's in our, our dualistic you know binary right wrong hot cold of our third dimensional vibration that we are currently in um, do what you can to correct that Right. you're the spark you're you're in control now you you've got a big influence over this emotional physical body you feed it right you can feed it good you can feed it bad you also feed it information you can edit what information gets into it do that try to get as much into these next vibration as you can that's what I'm doing. I'm, I put a pin and then I anchored. Now I'm pulling myself up. I think I spend more time in the fourth than I do third anymore. And a lot of that is based on the fact of what I feed my emotions. Um, very selective. And that's okay to be selective about what you feed yourself. Okay? It's there. Use discernment. I hope I didn't muddy this up too much. The best thing I could do is uh, raise questions for everyone to investigate within themselves and, you know, maybe try something. If you tried it and it's something that I'm not aware of, please let me know. Okay, we're, we're a tribe. We'll get through this, okay? We so got this. So, um, for now, namaste.